Right guys, here we are. We're about three weeks into the build. Now I did pick this up before Christmas, but work really started in the new year, so we're about three weeks in. And this is where we are right now. The windows are in, uh, it's ply lined. The rear, the electrics are ready. It's all ply lined. There's uh, usable down lights at the moment. The second switch here will be for an LED bar for, for further lighting when we're sat out here having a beer, hopefully. This is the 240 volts Arctic cable coming from the front. Power supply is ready for 12 volt pump and charge stations. Very, very simple. It is, uh, again, it's very much like a teardrop build, um, disregarding the fact that it's actually square. Take you on the inside, show, we, show you where we are up to now. New additions, the black headlining, uh, the down lights that are actually on a dimmer. So don't have to be on constant bright all the time, which is lovely. There's a few finishing touches. I've got a blind to go in, the window rebate. But we have now got the MPPT solar charge controller. Everything's wired up. That's not up and running yet, simply because the solar panel isn't mounted on the roof. And the Blue Sea distribution block with the relevant fuses in for what I'm using at the moment. The 240 volt shore hookup coming from the from the tongue box and as you can see the blue one that is simply one wire from the front to the back. We've got the TV for those rainy days. I'll show you the tongue box while we're chatting about it. The top section it's purely storage, so obviously storage is very important on these builds. The lower section at the moment houses the, the battery, the RCD, and the smart charger for when I am hooked up and I can charge the battery um, via 240 if I need to. So to show you now, it saves me coming back out. This is the temperature probe from the solar charge controller that will be mounted to the battery. Um, the wires at the moment are in their crudest format. They will be clipped nicely, um, mainly to provide maybe a little bit more storage here for things that I very rarely use. So very happy with the box that I have made. Aluminium, lightweight, powder coated in black. Uh, waterproof with these, with these rubbers and these gas struts. It's actually a lovely bit of kit. So if I take you back inside. Here we have my setup. So simply this Positive feed comes straight from the from the battery, uh, positive to positive, and the negative also with no interruptions straight to the battery. Negative, negative, positive, positive. Um, on this version of on this bus bar, uh, sorry, on this distribution block, it does come with a negative bus bar, keeping everything nice and clean. Um, keeps the wires, I believe. Um, a, a little bit neater. So talk you through the MPPT solar charge controller. The MC, it, there's MC4 connections on the roof ready to take a solar panel. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Very, very simple. The battery, I'll be putting a 25 amp fuse in here because it's a 20 amp solar charge controller. So the 25 amp fuse will go in here, giving the charge back through the positive. 
the negative to the battery again linked directly to the negative there there is load terminals on the solar charge controller but all the advice i've heard online is to leave them well alone and actually use any power from the distribution block a bit like mentioned in my other video um any wires that do go from front to back have no joins no splices um, so they are simply just a wire from front to back so there can be no problems from a to b if there is a problem it's either at a or at b which is at the other end which keeps that nice and simple and bulletproof hopefully this is the 240 volt coming in from the rcd unit i've put a plug on there at the moment just because i've been using uh, power tools in here um this is a wire going straight from front to back 2.5 arctic cable to supply power into the back just to let you know that there'll be a lovely made panel that that goes in front to hide all of all of the wires etc i mean it's not the worst thing to look at but also it keeps it from being kicked uh, that kind of thing and it would just make it a little bit lighter now with that in mind that said brings me on to my next point any any switches that will be mounted in the front here they're on these attachable or detachable fittings so if that panel ever has to be removed to access these further if there's a problem or access is needed the whole front panel can be parted away without cutting and splicing that kind of thing so the 240 volt sockets that i will have in the panel will also um, be detachable via a plug and connection here's my little man come, come. here he is one man and his dog so next thing to do is to talk you through my solar system um, with a bit of a schematic what do you think Gilly? what do you think lad Right guys, so here is my solar system broken down in its uh, in its entirety. So we start with two 100 watt solar panels on the roof. We have a 100 amp hour AGM battery. That goes directly to my fuse box. One negative, one positive. From there, that goes to my MPPT solar charge controller, that is 20 amps. So this links negative to negative, positive to positive via a 25 amp fuse. The solar panels are joined with MC4 branch connections and they go also into the MPPT solar charge controller like that, very very simple. Now from this fuse board, that allows me 
my appliances. So for example, a 12 volt pump. There's 12 circuits available. I think I'll only be using about six or seven. So simply to go to any appliance is your positive and negative. Now over here, we have our 240 volt hookup that's in the, in the tongue box. So when you're at campsites and things, you've got a, uh, a shore hookup. It's usually via a free pin. It is in the UK anyway. That will then feed a RCD unit, the fuse box. Now from there, I have, I actually have on one single circuit, I have a smart charger for those times. Uh, it's on a separate switch, so it's not always in constant use whenever it's plugged in. So when I am sure hooked up, I can flick a switch on the fuse box and that will then via a smart charger, so the correct way, never gonna damage the battery, that will actually charge the battery. And also the other side of the 240 volts is the outlets. Simply for me to plug in. I have no inverter. I have no need for an inverter. When uh, when we're off grid in, lights and a bit of power for our phones is enough, I believe. Uh, but for the times that we are at caravan sites or anything like that, um, the 240 volts is a bonus. So that is simplified my power system.